Hey everybody, um, sorry if I seem like I'm stuck in a rut here, but reviewing these 21 ETFs as we've done for the past couple of days, I think it'll be helpful because there's a lot of dynamism and there's a lot of um, chart compliance, as it were, um, market compliance more exactly with charts. And so we're just gonna go through this together again in alphabetical order and just catch up with each other now that Thursday has passed us, thank God. Because <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't get my jollies at 5.29 and 59 seconds in the morning, you know, wringing my hands about what's gonna happen next. So I'm glad it's behind us now. Um, here we go. DBC. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna, a lot of these will be some form or another of I told you so, but it's not in a snarky way. It's just to affirm the obedience charts are having, uh, or the market's having to the charts. So if you pick up a lot of I told you so, it's not meant to be a dick. It's just meant to be like, isn't it cool how things are working out nicely? So DBC, um, my speculation there was that this price gap would be support, uh, would be respected, and it certainly has been. Uh, even with the Hamas invasion and the war, uh, it has stayed persistently beneath that level. Um, the diamonds, these guys uh, had incredibly uh, nearly a new lifetime high, uh, only it can, it can still be measured in weeks. Um, rather extraordinary and then we form this right triangle pattern whose base has been respected there have been four different instances where we approach that base but we have not gotten above it which is a good thing because i do not want it to go above it. i want to go way below efa and i just want to pause here and, and just those of you who watched my video yesterday on these same 21 i would not shut up about how important it was for us to fall today the fact we fell today is a really good thing and it may sound dumb being a bear, but falling again tomorrow would be another good thing. Not just because going down is good, but because it sort of gets us out of this kind of tug of war mode. Uh, because there are a lot of charts that by all rights should go down, down, down. And they're not going to do that if we keep dorking around like this. So uh, I'm delighted today was a down day. It would be nice if we augmented that some, but yeah, today was so important. Um, and so EFA uh, did a beautiful job with its top. And uh, there we go. You know, what else can you say? Um, precious metals also behaving themselves really nicely. GLD here had the symmetric triangle pattern, like so, but it did not even get back up to that. Um, what it did instead was has its own right triangle pattern as well. This is the base and the same trend line right here. And so we've been zipping higher and it stopped cold and as with many markets today, we've got a nice bearish engulfing pattern right there. So yay. Um, IEFA, kind of a similar thing for obvious reasons as EFA. In this instance, uh, it's kind of a, it's really kind of a diamond pattern that I've tinted in blue. And uh, we've seen these in a number of stocks that have nothing to do with the components of IEFA. Um, just a lot of diamonds out there, relatively speaking. And so uh, even at today's peak, we were below um, uh, yesterday's high. Uh, we, we've, we've stayed beautifully below this price gap and uh, we've just tumbled most of the day. Um, we terminated the fall, as you know, um, kind of uh, a couple of hours for the close, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, generally speaking, it still slipped lower across the board. Because bonds fell so hard and interest rates went roaring uh, high, um, anything to do with real estate, anything to do with uh, home building, real estate, commercial or residential fell. ITB here down almost 5%. And uh, we, we have not come anywhere close to closing this price gap, which is fine. It, it can never be close as far as I'm concerned. That's, that's no problem. IWM, very good down day, 2.19% drop. Uh, this head and shoulders pattern right here, with this being the neckline, has performed beautifully. Peak, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And of course, I'd like to see a lower low on this as well to take out the lows we saw last week. But the fact that this Fibonacci is also serving as this neckline is just really neat, as we professional technicians say. Uh, here's the KBE, the banks, and this continues to move the right way, staying below that dashed blue line. 
LQD, fantastic. This is one of the other ones, pretty much across the board. It's like, we've got a fall on Thursday. Uh, this is just gorgeous right here. Um, it, the blue line constituting resistance. And we nailed it yesterday and fell hard today. It couldn't be better. Well, it could be a lot, it could be down 90%, but that'll never happen. So it, it's, it's, it's going the right way. MDY, the mid caps, down almost 2%. MUB, another beauty. Look at that pink zone there. It got right up to it and then turned away hard. And so we're actually by a tiny bit below this trend line again. S&P 100, the OEF, another nice reversal there. We got up a little above the price gap. We closed the price gap actually, um, I guess on Tuesday, but uh, that'll do. We'll just use today's high as the, uh, as the horizontal anchor point. Silver nice stuff there's the price gap right there we got a little bit a little bit above it the uh strictly speaking the price gap was at 20.27 today's high was 20.32 i don't think we can begrudge a nickel between friends so that'll be just fine i think that's about all she wrote with respect to silver let's drop down an automatic trend line on that as well while, while we're at it um and we'll unextend that there, that's better, isn't it? Uh, here's the spider. This is also wonderful. And of course, this is the, by far the biggest one, very important to observe closely. This stash line has been the key, 438.43 being the price gap. Today's high, 437.34. That'll do fine, thank you very much. And we got a big old bearish engulfing pattern. So big thumbs up on that one. USO, getting back to our commodity thing for a sec, turning away nicely. So in spite of all the breathless nonsense from the investment banks and the Wall Street analysts about oil going to $200 a barrel, you know, whatever, boys, it doesn't do that. Here's XHB, and I've got a remark on this one. This was the one and only ETF I had coming into the day. It's also the one and only thing I, I closed. Uh, why did I close it? Well, I do not have a good reason to offer you. Uh, I will say that... Um, when things are going really, really, really well, um, I kind of check myself before I wreck myself and, and take some profits. And so I decided to make this guy my, my victim. Um, I got it at a good price, pretty near the lows of the day. Um, and, you know, so I skied out a lot of there. So I have no ETF positions of any kind, uh, but I still have my 17 uh, equity based puts, none of which expire earlier than next year. XLI. Uh, this is very lovely. Got, uh, you know, a few pennies uh, above the uh, price gap. This price gap here, big deal. That's fine. Very nice reversal. It looks really, really good. I cannot emphasize, just like yesterday, I could not emphasize enough how important it was to fall. I can't emphasize enough today how valuable that fall is. Uh, XLP falling over uh, percent there, a little sine wave action. XLU um, banging around nicely. This was, a, I did a post last night, which I left it for like 12 hours about the subtleties of XLU versus the util, so I won't repeat that. XLY, not very interesting. You know, I, I, we didn't look at SMH. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna look at that too. I, surprisingly, I didn't, uh, didn't tag SMH. Uh, and then XRT, not much to say here. Uh, let's look at SMH real quick before I say goodbye. Um, this one I, I'm not in. I know our Neo was asking my opinion on this. Um, this pattern as such, this pink zone right here is, is you know, beyond violated at this point. It, it, I'm, this is almost like out of sentiment, I believe in this here. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not going back in. I just distrust it too much. If NVIDIA falls for whatever reason, great. Maybe this will become some really mutated looking top or something. I'm not in it. I have no intention of getting back in it. I have no semiconductors at all. It's just too damn strong. But, you know, could this fall? Of course it could. Um, this is a nice little reversal pattern today, but there's nothing clean about this at all. There's no clean price gap. There's no clean pattern anymore. It's just a big old fat mess. So I ain't touching it. With that said, I will see you tomorrow.